my dear student good morning i am your english teacher teaching of english today let us learn about one of the wild and furious animal tiger before going to start the poem we know about the poet k daruvalla is a contemporary indian writer he has won many awards including the Sahitya Academy Award in 1984 and the Commonwealth Poetry Award in 1987 he served in the Indian Police Service and became a special assistant to the Prime Minister on international affairs he uses a lot of imaginary from nature as seen in the present poem answer the following questions the poet laments about the indiscriminate poaching and killing of tigers that has have almost become extinct now the tiger isn't burning bright either in shadow or in sun the tiger family is thinking two by two and one by one the tiger isn't burning bright in the forest of the night or in the wilderness of day we need to understand his plight the father shreyu is missing now shreyu has been shot and skinned poaches ground his bones to powder for some chinese medicine bones would bring them power they thought put life into some sickly man their souls were sick killing tigers he is something we won't understand He is a skin he is hanging on a wall his bones are packed in plastic white and shipped out a gecko on the wall he is hunting insect on his hide once jungle trembled at his roar tree tops flew up birds disappeared monkeys screamed what an uproar now gecko's nipple on his ear Lord God had stamped upon his skin in equal strips both night and dawn his black and gold won shimmer now poor hunter forest king he has gone ke darwalas poem tiger is a parody of blake's poem the tiger Blake pictures the tiger has a brute beauty a majestic creation of god indicative of god's power but daruvalla's tiger is a pitiable creature daruvalla sets the tone for what he wants to say right at the beginning by stating that the tiger is not burning bright this is a the contrast to the opening lines of Blake's poem Tiger Tiger burning bright in the forest of the night Darwalla says with the irony that tiger is not burning bright in shadow or sun or in the forest of the night or the wilderness of the day not burning means tiger is dead draws our attention to the dwindling number of tigers in two waves he says that the tiger family is thinking two by two and one by one he also refers to the father tiger shreyu is sick he makes an em- an emotional appeal to the readers right at the beginning about the need to understand the tragic plight of the tiger the tiger are hunted by poachers for their bones which are used in chinese medicine believed to revitalization simply men and the tiger skin is used for decorative purposes the bones are powdered and shipped out in plastic and the skin is hung on the wall as an ornamental piece the pitiable condition is metamorphically described by the poet with reference 
to the gecko which travels on the skin in search of insects the poet feels sad for the tiger which has lost its grandeur the tiger's roar in the past made the jungle tremble birds to take flight in fear and monkeys to scream in terror but in the present gecko's nibble at the ears of the dead tiger skin god had created the tiger as a beautiful beast with gold and black strips representing dawn and night but the gold no longer shines and the king of the forest who feasted on boars is hunted down by humans and is near extinction thus daruvalla points out of urgency of the need to protect the tiger india's national animal which is god's marvelous creation